Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah and this is Analog Resurgence. And today I'm gonna to be talking about something that I'm incredibly passionate about, Polaroids. In these videos, I'm gonna be talking about the variety of Polaroid cameras that you can get and use today. But I'm also gonna be talking first a little bit about what makes all these old pieces of plastic just so special. These are Polaroid cameras, specifically Polaroid Integral Instant Film cameras. Integral Film is the classic white framed image that everybody associates with the Polaroid brand. During their prime, Polaroid made this kind of film in three different formats, 600, SX-70, and Spectra. Now, before Polaroid made this type of film, they made an earlier version of instant film called Pack Film. I'm gonna save Pack Film and talk about it in a future video, so I'm not gonna get too into that today. All instant film began with a man named Edwin Land, who created a company called Polaroid in 1937. Polaroid manufactured a variety of products during its lifetime, but the biggest and most popular one was instant film. In 1944, during a family outing, Land was asked by his daughter why she couldn't just see the pictures he was taking on his camera straight away. This greatly inspired Land, and in 1948, he created the world's first instant film camera. In the years following, Land worked incredibly hard to improve his invention. And in 1972, Land got up on stage and unveiled to the world the Polaroid SX-70. And with it, the first truly instant film that developed right before your eyes. This was a brand new photo system that anyone could use. First, you open a box that contains a plastic cartridge. Now, inside that plastic cartridge were 10 instant Polaroids. And at the very bottom of the cartridge was a battery that powered your camera. So you buy the camera, you buy the film, you put it in, and that was it. No labs, no enlargers, no dark rooms, no chemicals, nothing. Just purely instant photos. Okay. Here's how it works. An instant Polaroid is made up of multiple layers. These layers are super thin and contain elements that are activated by chemicals to create an image, just like normal film. But these layers are all encased in the frame and protected with this top plastic piece. At the very bottom of the image is a pod that contains developing chemicals and at the very top of the image is a little absorption pad. The Polaroids are all put into the plastic cartridge along with a battery that powers the camera. Every Polaroid camera has a set of rollers that the film gets ejected through. This causes the chemical pod at the bottom of the image to break open and its contents spread out across the entire image as it's ejecting before being absorbed into the pad at the top. As soon as this image starts coming out, there's this entire chemical process happening right inside the camera that you don't even see. It really is an amazing system. And while yes, it can produce imperfect results, Polaroids have always been kind of unpredictable, and for a lot of people, that's the appeal of it. Over the next few years, Polaroid enjoyed massive popularity with this format and introduced different cameras in the SX-70 line, and then eventually 600 cameras and Spectra cameras. You know, Kodak even tried to create their own instant film camera at the time, but of course, they were quickly sued by Polaroid, and they had to shut it down. Sadly, Polaroid as a company was in a decline starting in the 1980s through a series of failed inventions that just never caught on, such as Polavision, the instant Super 8 film that just never caught on, primarily because it didn't look very good. Well, Polaroid was essentially a household name. This just wasn't enough for the company. And like so many things, it all came to an end in 2008 when Polaroid announced that they would be discontinuing the manufacturing of all their instant films. This was a devastation for photographers all around the world, both young and old, who had fallen in love with this iconic white framed image and the magic of an instant photo. And it not only meant that all these photos would cease to be made, it also meant that every single Polaroid camera was useless because the company that made this incredibly specific film format for it just decided to stop. Since then, Polaroid has turned into more of a watered down brand name. You can get Polaroid sunglasses, printers, watches, turntables, 3D pens. I mean, look at all this junk. The company that had once spearheaded such innovation in photography had just become so disappointing. However, a single glimmer of hope existed, and in 2008, the very same year that Polaroid announced they would be shutting down the plants that had manufactured their film, a group of former employees based out of the Netherlands led by Marwan Saba, Andre Bozeman, and Florian Caps started a project, the Impossible Project. The Impossible Project aimed to do the impossible, 
which was to bring back Polaroid Instant Film all on their own. To do so, they had to start from scratch with a bare bones team of engineers who were mostly former Polaroid employees. Early attempts were rough, but over the past 10 years, we've gotten to see this company grow until they had successfully recreated a functioning Polaroid film for Polaroid cameras that you could conveniently find in Urban Outfitters. Well, you guys corner that youth market. The Impossible Project has been way more successful than anyone could have ever imagined. So maybe it's never going to be exactly the same kind of film it was 45 years ago when Edwin Land got up on that stage and showed the audience. And The Impossible Project does only contain 8 shots per pack instead of the standard 10. But it exists. And in doing so, they saved thousands of these adorable little cameras from the backs of closets, the bottom shelves of thrift stores, and from being dumped into the ocean all around the world. The most recent surprise came in the summer of 2017, when the head shareholder of The Impossible Project acquired the Polaroid brand name, which meant that nine years after it was considered dead, Polaroid branded instant film existed once again. They even created their own camera, the Polaroid One Step 2, which is based on the classic rainbow design of the One Step from the 1970s. Also, they said they would make a camera, and then made the camera, and then released the camera, and now you can buy the camera, and it actually exists, unlike Kodak's Super 8 camera, so take that! But, anyways, you can buy Polaroid film right now as we speak. 600 SX70 and Spectre film for all those old vintage cameras, along with iType film for the newer cameras, can be found in a huge variety of colors and options. So pick up a pack and take a picture, put it in the mail, or just give it to somebody that you love because really nothing beats a Polaroid picture. Thank you guys so much for watching and in the coming weeks I'll be doing a variety of videos to cover in more detail the different types of Polaroid cameras that you can get. The 600, the SX70, and the Spectra. So check those out to learn a little bit more about shooting Polaroids for yourself and subscribe if you've not done so already because I'll continue to post analog content every week to cover a variety of topics. I'll see you guys soon.